How's it going everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. The website is hiphopaudioschool.com and today we have a video covering Vocaline Project 5. There's been some upgrades since Vocaline Project 3 so I want to go over those but just in case you don't know what Vocaline is let me show you what it does because if you ever work with layered vocals or you're doubling up your vocals this is going to be a game changer if you haven't tried it yet. So Simply put, vocal lines simply does what it says. It aligns vocals and you could take your track here and everything else could be aligned to that one track. So you could use this as a guide track. That's the main one. Everything was perfect. You love how it sounds. And then all of the double ups that you've recorded in, say they're a little bit off. Maybe one beginning of a word is slightly off this will adjust it, put it right in place, and it's not moving everything over or anything like that because then that would put everything else out of place to get that one in place. This is making it to where it's in place in the beginning, it's in place in the end, and it's in place all throughout the middle as well. So if you were to do this manually, it would take forever. I used to do this before I knew Vocaline existed, and when I found out this existed, it is a must-have in every studio. So this is what you used to have to do. You would get a vocal say this little piece right here is out of time so you can see it's not exact these are a little bit off see right here how it starts right here this is starts over here if you wanted to get that in place you would have to make it to where you'd cut it here and here so these are pretty much in place this right here is not in place at all so you do like a cut right here and here and then you take this and because you don't necessarily need to just move it over, you need to, it to compress itself into a smaller file. You would come over to the TCE tool. You'd grab that, bring it over like this. Now it's a little bit better. Using TCE tool is very difficult to get it to sound natural. Sometimes it sounds robotic. So you'd have to do little things like that and then stretch this one out, cut it. And there's so much editing and tiny little detail to do when you manually do this stuff and it still doesn't sound as clean as Vocaline Project 5. It's super, super easy. So let me undo all that manual editing I just did. And now let me show you how to do it super, super simple using Vocaline Project 5. You select your guide track, hit capture. You select your dub track, hit capture, and then render. That's it, you're done everything's right on time. If I zoom in to that part that we were editing, see how it's right on time now? It's starting right where it should, it's ending where it should, everything is exactly as it should be on time, perfect, couple button clicks, done. That's gonna save you a lot of time. So that's Vocaline, overall that's what it does. So there are a few features I wanna go over with you guys just in case you don't know about them. These are on Project 5, Vocaline Project 5. One is called Smart Align, and what Smart Align does is it makes it to where, say you have a vocal like this right here, and then here's the second vocal. Now what if the second vocal you didn't record in that part or this little section right here? Say you didn't record in those parts, but you did record these and you wanna align it, but you don't wanna have to go in, cut up, and do the alignments per section. Well, Smart Align makes it to where it's not gonna snap way over to the beginning, it'll snap in the proper place because it's smart, it knows where it's gonna go. So let's do the same thing, capture. And then on my dub track, I'll select this entire thing and then press capture. And Smart Align over here, you can see it put it in the right place. So it didn't put it all the way in the front, it's not bringing this over here. It knows it's gonna bring it to this section right there and it knows that this section is to align to this section right here. Now if I were to take Smart Align off, I'll click on this button here. Now it's gonna bring all the audio way over to the beginning. It thinks that it should start over here because that's where your highlighted section is for your dub track. So Smart Align makes it to where it knows where the audio file should be. This is huge for when you record in just little pieces to go along with it, like little double ups but not all the way through the entire song. So this can really, really help save you a lot of time. That's a big upgrade on Vocaline Project 5. Now another thing is the tightness. How right on do you want it? Do you want it super tight and it's right on with the guide track and it's not gonna be off at all? That's usually what I like. I like how that sounds, it's right on. 
But if you want it a little bit looser, like a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit more natural, say the vocalist isn't exact exact, then you would just loosen it up. That makes it to where there's a little bit of wiggle room. You can see right here it says 200. That's 200 milliseconds worth of wiggle room versus zero. It's no wiggle room, it's right on. So I like it right at zero. I like it really tight on there, but that's up to you. It could vary per song or per artist. Maybe the artist doesn't want it that tight. So it's gonna depend on you as the engineer and the artist uh, preference. Another cool thing with this Vocaline Project 5 is you have the resizable plugin uh, face right here. So you could just simply take this, these little lines down here in the corner, and you could resize it. So if you're working on a bunch of stuff and you just want this tiny little space to work with, capture, capture, render, make it simple like that, this is really convenient to have a small version of it. Or you could just go up here and just drag it out and have this giant uh, window to work with. And you could really see everything, all the detail, and get in there. Uh, so it just depends on how you want to work with it. I tend to like it right around here or the really small one when there's a lot going on with the editing on the screen. And remember when you open it up, you go to Audio Suite and then you go down to Synchro Arts and then you go down to Vocaline Project 5. That's how you open this plugin. It's not a real-time plugin. It's not something you put on an insert. This is an Audio Suite plugin where you capture the audio, you capture the dub, and then you render it and it prints it into here. Now make sure you have this button right here, Use in Playlist, highlighted. It has to be blue. Because if not, it's not going to print it into your session properly. All right, so now we're in Logic. We can look at the ARA or the ARA uh, compatibility with this DAW, and we could use the Vocaline version of it. So I have all of these tracks here selected. I'll go right here to add a plugin and Audio Units, Synchro Arts, and Vocaline Project 5 ARA or ARA. Hit Mono, and it's going to bring them all to the, all the tracks there. All right, so we have the plugin there. I have them all linked together. And here we go. I'm gonna select the first track only, right there. Hit capture. And then I'm gonna select all of these tracks here. On the dub, hit capture. And it's processing it here. And now it's ready. All right, so let's give it a listen before the plugins. So I'm gonna take all of these tracks, turn off the plugin. This is what it sounds like. I move stuff out of time to make it really, really obvious. So it's gonna sound really bad, but here we go. All right, really off time. All right, so now let's listen to the same thing with the plugins engaged. Time to wake up. We need you on this revelation. It's a soul situation. Way, 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 way better. And all it was was hit the guide for the main track, hit the guide for all the other tracks, it processes it all together, super, super easy, quick. So that's a great feature. If you are on a DAW that's compatible with the ARA or ARA feature, uh, that's something that's in Logic, it's in Studio One, it's in a lot of DAWs, just Pro Tools is kind of the one that doesn't really do it. So. It's still easy to process this stuff. I still use Pro Tools as my main DAW, but this is a feature available to you if you are in a compatible DAW. All right, so that is Vocaline Project 5. Hopefully you guys see how powerful this is and how much quicker it is than trying to do it manually. And I think it sounds better than trying to do it manually. So check it out. I'll have a link down below in the description so it's easy to get to. You can go ahead and click on that and check it out. But thank you guys again for watching this. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.